I'm an interior designer based in Johannesburg and I mostly specialise in children's spaces. My journey into interiors started when I was pregnant with my first daughter nearly 18 years ago. Whilst looking for the perfect pieces for her nursery, I realised what a gap there is in the market for beautiful pieces for nurseries. So I completed her nursery and then had friends complimenting that and asking me to do it for them and so it was a natural progression into my own business. I'm personally very inspired by the Scandi Nordic style. I suppose because clients are drawn to the, the style of the designer usually. I find 99% of my clients are wanting Scandi styled furniture as well. So we're standing in a little girl's room, she's one and a half years old and the brief here was basically to create something fun and whimsical but keeping it simple. So the first piece that we have here is our teepee bed that we designed and launched exclusively for Decorex 2017. Although the play TP, the fabric one, is super popular, we came up with the idea of doing it in a bed because it creates almost like a camping vibe for the kiddies and they absolutely love it. You can put some drapes over. Um, this mom chose not to because baby's still quite little. Um, but for older kiddies you can put some drapes and the fairy lights and it's really like camping out under the stars. In this instance we uh, custom made a double size for them because mum and dad wanted to be able to lie with baby at night when they're putting her to sleep and things like that so this gives them the extra space to be able to do that. Then we created these little house shelves um, which are also super popular and just the perfect space to display special things. Then we custom made this beautiful L-shaped storage unit which initially actually the thought process behind was having almost a window seat. Mum then decided not to go with the cushioning because baby's so little and sticky fingers and all of that fabric wouldn't last very long. So just to create warmth and add character, we arranged a whole lot of scatter cushions on there, which has really turned out well. We've now created the moon-shaped cutouts, which is so much safer for little ones' fingers, where they used to be pull-out crates, um, and little ones could pull them out full of heavy toys and hurt themselves. They are now on industrial strength rollers. We are in the girls' playroom now and the most important aspect of a playroom in my opinion is ample storage. So behind me we have the custom made storage unit that we designed. A couple of changes we made on this unit was to incorporate chalkboard fronts which is a super fun idea. We created this round table almost as like a bistro sort of table but larger than normal. Um, we made it slightly higher for older kiddies that come and play and um, diameter wider so that it can accommodate more kiddies. Mum's um, idea here was for them to be able to eat lunch and do a couple of activities, although we do have the um, custom made activity station on that side. There we have literally measured it to, to spec to fit into that space and um, have made it look really contemporary with the floating shelf look on the really contemporary brackets. Um, and we've added in a trendy black basket to store some paints and things, and then the tins hanging over for colors and paints and things like that. So that's a really fun little space. One of my favorites, I think, in this playroom. Our vision for the corner wall was to have, to, to make that the sort of play nook. So, um, incorporating the TP, we then added the three Scandi book ledgers, housed a ton of books um, with a whole lot of floor cushions and the girls can really sit and chill and do what takes their fancy. Advice that I could give to mums looking to create a playroom, firstly is to ascertain um, what your budget is and then to list your priorities, what you need um, as a parent and what, what you believe your kiddies need. But I think that's, uh, as long as you've got that covered, the rest is easy.